is NBC 10 News Today. Right now, alum of one area high school are fed up with the education, or as they say, lack thereof. That story coming up next. And heartbreak for one family when they find out their senior would not cross the stage. The reason why, just minutes away. Plus, faster internet could soon be headed to parts of Arkansas. Details ahead. Good morning. It's 632. Reed, what's going on, brother? Not much. So I said that we had more days yeah. that we're saving. Yeah. So we knocked out some of the good ones. It's National Cherry Cobbler Day. You're a cherry cobbler guy? I don't like fruit and desserts. Yeah. Can't stand that. It's understandable. Yeah. Cherry cobbler is good every day. You can't eat that every yeah. day. National Pack Rat Day. Are you a pack rat? Save a lot of stuff. On a work oh, stuff. a pack, oh, pack, pack rat. rat. Yeah. Oh, have you seen my car lately? <laughs> is you a pack rat? I'm just going to say, have you seen my car lately? That's, that's I used to be worse at it. Yeah. I'm better at throwing stuff away now. Uh, National Endangered Species Day. Enda what's an endangered species? It's like really like... It means you know. they're running low. Let's no, I mean, like, what's like an endangered... Like, what's an example of one? Ah, well, manatees used to be endangered, and then conservation efforts brought them back to not be endangered. So that's a success story. Really? Yeah, manatees are the big one. Reed is a plethora of information. He's not just a weather guy. He is yeah. a National Geographic guy. I mean, you, you are just a, a source of information for everything. Yeah, a lot must, of it's worthless, but... But still. It is information. You ought to do the news one day, whenever uh, Randy yeah, and I are out. I don't think so. You, you're pretty good at this That's kind of too stuff. much. That's too much. Too much pressure. I got a lot of the weather. Pressure. We got stuff to talk about here. Plethora of information for severe weather possible tomorrow. It has been a nice, beautiful, dry, sunny week. You did... Have one more day of that, but we got these rain chances filling in. So enjoy today. Going to be toasty outside. Going to be warm out there tomorrow. Slight risk for severe weather. There you go. Most of the coverage area under it. Off to our west, the higher threat under enhanced risk. I'm going to break down all those details for you coming up in a few minutes. That's your forecast first. All right, thanks, Reed. Members of the Southside community are concerned about the quality of education students are receiving. Earlier this week, they decided to go public. Now they're telling NBC10's Bria Jones what they want. Carol High alumni are concerned with the education of students, wondering if their diplomas will be useful. That, that's the question. That's the big question. That's the, that's the elephant in the room. Jesse Smith graduated from Carroll High and taught there. He's at the forefront of the movement to get help for schools on the south side. It doesn't add up. You got failing elementary schools. You got failing junior high schools. And then the high schools are, are performing, you know, at, at, at a B and C level. Smith is referring to Carol's grade from the Department of Education. The school has a C average, but received a D for ACT scores and F for assessments. It just doesn't seem right that you got all these honor graduates, but cannot go to college with the honor degrees and graduates that they have. The NAACP joining the fight, hoping to raise awareness and shed light on an issue they say is left in the dark. That the alumni and others have sent letters to the superintendent, to the school board members, to the principals, and the letters have not been answered. So I believe that the, the fight is legitimate, that the voice needs to be heard. Smith says it doesn't matter if it's two or 200 degrees. It's time to do what's best for the children. That's the primary reason why we're out here, is to make sure we, we're getting the maximum benefit for our kids and our community because we haven't gotten good uh, results so far. All right, thanks, Bria. Staying in the classroom, a Richland Parish family is heartbroken after learning their high school senior wouldn't be graduating with his class, finding out only two days before the ceremony. They want to know how it could happen. NBC10's Anna McAllister has the answers. We have cried from preschool up. All I've meant was like, I want to see this kid graduate. We felt like somebody, like, like somebody had died. Chase Parker and his family had dreamed of the moment for years, watching him walk at Mangum High School's graduation. Chase was ready for graduation. He had the cap and gown. He went to the senior luncheon. He even was on his way to graduation practice. But when he got there, the school told him that he wouldn't be able to walk just two days before the ceremony. A principal calls and gets in touch and says that he can't graduate. He can't get his diploma. So that he did not pass his English EOC test. Crystal says her son has always struggled in school because of his dyslexia and ADHD. It's never been easy for him, but we honestly thought here we are at the very end that 
you know, we're done. It's over. But the only thing that was over was Chase's chance to walk with his class. Crystal says the school knew about Chase's learning disabilities, but didn't take the right steps to prepare him for testing. As far as his accommodations for like his 504, none of that was done. I don't know how they expected him to be able to even pass this test whenever they didn't do their job. The Richland Parish Superintendent released this statement that says in part, no students will be allowed to participate in commencement exercises until they have successfully completed the requirements. All right, thanks, Anna. A man is in the hospital and his wife is facing charges after a shooting at a mobile park in Monroe. It happened around 930 yesterday morning in the 5300 block of Desired at the University Estates. Monroe police say a man was shot during a fight with his wife. He's been taken to the hospital. His condition is still unknown. The man's wife, Jakiria Hollins, is charged with attempted second degree murder, domestic abuse battery and child endangerment. So far, no bond has been set. I think it could be faster, because especially when you get on something good, and then it takes forever to download. Arkansas ranks dead last for internet drop in dead zones, especially in the Delta, the Ozark Mountains, and Southern Timberlands. Governor Asa Hutchinson is pushing a plan to fix it, or at least bring high-speed broadband to every Arkansas town with more than 500 people in the next three years. It focuses on federal grants for service providers to run new lines through areas such as Gould, Arkansas, to improve everything from agriculture to health care to education. Every weeknight at NBC 10 at 10, you have a chance to win free gas. Surprise, a $50 gas card brought to you by the Jim Taylor dealerships. If your name is called, you have by the end of the newscast to claim your prize. Register at one of the Jim Taylor dealerships or go over to myarkalmist.com and click on that contest tab. No. Your local Time now is 6.39. We're looking outside. Plenty of sunshine to kick off today. It's going to be another nice forecast for you this afternoon, a lot like the past couple of days. Warm temperatures, lots of sunshine. Visibility looking good. That dew point, 64. Starting to creep up. Humidity is out there. Heading to the bus stop this morning. Dress light, pack an extra bottle of water. It is mild in this afternoon. Getting pretty warm out. Again, almost summer-like. Not quite there yet, but... Almost seeing 90. We haven't seen that in more than seven months. I hope you enjoyed that break. It's in our forecast. Tomorrow, severe weather. At least the possibility for it's in the forecast. Looking at a slight risk for the coverage area. That is an isolated threat. These storms are going to move into the western part of our coverage area tomorrow evening, 6, 7 o'clock, and work through late tomorrow night into the Sunday morning hours. So I'll bring you all these details in 10 minutes. Under 10 minutes away, LSU Louisiana Tech softball prep for today's regional Baton Rouge. Also, but after the break, we're chatting about a heart disorder that affects 3 to 6 million Americans. That's next on NBC 10. Bayou Life Magazine, Northeast Louisiana's only locally owned monthly magazine. Featuring local fashion, food, artists.